Stephanie. Coming up on Eyewitness News this morning, a surgeon separation, a detention center in Texas packed with kids. We're getting a first look inside. And a new state budget is revealed what the plan includes and what it means for the state. And weather-wise, finally those temperatures cooling off in time for your weekend the full forecast coming up. This is CBS 47 Eyewitness News this morning in high definition. Hey, good morning and happy Friday. I'm Alex Backett. And I'm Connie Tran in for Joey Horta. We're so happy to have you back, Miss Connie. Thank you so much. Happy Friday to you all. Yes, happy nice Friday. Nice way to end our week being here on your guys' morning show. Thanks for having me this week. Oh, come back anytime. Thank and you. Anthony, yeah, the weekend's shaping up nice for Father's Day. Oh my God, yeah. So how about this? We're going to drop by about 10 to 15 degrees around the valley. A lot to smile about and maybe to dance about over the weekend as well. <laughs> Say goodbye to those triple digits, at least for the time being. We'll show you what's going on right now as you head out the door in Fresno. We're back in the 60s. It's a good start for us. Of course, uh, cooler conditions in the morning are going to mean a much more comfortable afternoon on the way for you. 67 for Fresno, 65 in Hanford. Good morning in the North Valley. Our friends up in the Merced Atwater area starting your morning off with 62 and we're at 51 degrees right now over in Oakhurst. Eric Quaddy showing some signs of improvement as well back in the moderate range from Fresno through Tulare County and remaining in the good range from Merced and Madera. It's outdoor time of year, of course. If you are heading out to do a little camping or heading out to the water, of course, you can expect the temperatures back in the upper 90s on today. Be a little hot here in the valley, but a little bit cooler as we head through the rest of the weekend. Stay tuned. The full forecast coming up. Thanks, Anthony. A new state budget plan is on its way to the governor's desk for approval. Yesterday, Senate and, and Assembly lawmakers voted to pass a $139 billion general fund budget. The spending plan includes funding for homelessness, support services, welfare grants, and even more money for the UC and CSU systems. C CSU and UC pretty much what they asked. They were looking for funding to buy out the tuition increases. That was done. Republican leaders say they are pleased with the money the governor has stocked away in state reserves, but warn against an increase in spending. We are getting a first look now inside an ICE detention center for children in Texas. Take a look. This is newly released government video showing a glimpse inside the facility sheltering children who enter the U.S. illegally. It is the first look inside one of these shelters since the Trump administration instituted a zero tolerance immigration policy back in April. It upholds the law and is separating children from their parents who cross the border illegally. Stop crossing the border illegally with children. Apply to enter lawfully. Wait your turn. And new numbers show at least 658 children were separated from their parents in the first weeks of that new policy. This November, residents in Fresno will be able to vote on a new cannabis business tax. It opens up a clear path for medical marijuana dispensaries to be in the city. Yesterday, the Fresno City Council voted 5-1 to one to move forward with the tax. 90% of that tax will go to a general fund, and the other 10% is going to go to a community benefit fund. Mayor Lee Brand says this is not just about the money, it's also about improving the lives of people in Fresno. Basically, a problem, an issue, and make it an opportunity for Fresno to be a better whole city, and that's my job. Thank you. City leaders say if everything works out, the seven dispensaries could set up shop in 2019. Now to a warning if you're planning a trip to Pine Flat Lake. Officials say there is an algae bloom on the north shoreline. It's from the inlet of the upper Kings River to the dam. There are warning signs posted there and the water is now being tested. The algae bloom can harm pets if they drink the water. In Yosemite, the mayor posts a grove of giant sequoia trees just hours away from opening to the public for the first time in three years. Such an exciting day. If you can get down there, the uh, dedication ceremony celebrated the $40 million project between the park and the Yosemite Conservancy. Now, before the restoration, people had to ride a tram to explore the grove and those big trees. Now the trams are gone, as are, as are a majority of the roads nearby. In their place is nature as it was before. The whole idea was to pull all the development outside the grove and, and, and just be able to appreciate the natural uh, condition and also restore the habitat uh, for the trees. Conservancy says the goal was to give the trees their best chance of survival and you can see them for yourself. The Mariposa Grove reopens at 9 a.m. Everything they've done there looks fantastic. Too. Yes, absolutely beautiful. It's going to be nice to have Yosemite not under construction for at least a little bit. Yeah. So get out there and enjoy it.
Well, the need for blood donors in the Central Valley is critical, and that's why we here at CBS 47 we're teaming up today with the Central California Blood Center and Mia Ned's Pizza for the Pint for Pie event. And our Teresa Sardina is live at the Central California Blood Center in Fresno with details on how you can help and Teresa get a free pizza. Good morning. Good morning, Alex and Connie. Well, I could agree with meteorologist Anthony Bailey. It's such a beautiful and cool morning. I'm here live at the Central California Blood Center, and this is one of the locations where you can donate blood today. We have our location here in Fresno, which is at 4343 West Herndon, and we also have one in the South Valley, and that's at 1515 West excuse me, South Mooney in Visalia. And this is our blood drive. And CBS 47 has partnered with our sister station, KC24, and our company, Nexstar. We partner with an organization and business every year for Founders Day of Caring. And this year, we decided to partner with the Central California Blood Center. And this was all inspired by one of our employees, our director, Priscilla Martinez, who is battling a blood-related autoimmune issue. And she relies on blood blood transfusions to stay alive. And our CBS 47, Connie Tran, you had the honor uh, to interview Priscilla and she shared her, her health experience as well. And in a humbling interview, she took the attention off herself and focused on the need of blood here in the Central Valley. So this is why we want to come together today for Pint for Pie. And how this all works is that you come out here from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. at one of the two locations, and the first 350 people who are going to be donating blood will get a free voucher for a Mia Ned's pizza, and it's going to be a personal pie. So we want to let Central Valley know that this is not a pizza party. When you come out here to donate, you're not going to get pizza, but you will be getting a pizza voucher. And I'll send it back to you, ladies. And again, this is Pint for Pie, and this is a partnership with CBS 47 and our sister station KC24 for the Central California Blood Center pint for pie. Oh, Teresa, Aww. thank you so much. And yes, thank you for reminding us that it is uh, in honor of Priscilla Martinez, yeah. who, as she mentioned, I got to uh, interview a few days ago. Um, she's normally here with us every day, but unfortunately um, and so it was nice to touch base with her and learn about, you know, her health condition and know that we can all give blood not just for her, uh, but as in the valley yeah. who needs blood it is so critical and so get out there and donate yeah it's i'm gonna be out there are you gonna be out there are you going yeah oh, i'm gonna donate great. yeah i'd love so, to go yeah and so it's uh and it's the pizza is definitely a perk of course but it's me it's, and Ed. it's gonna be a fun party even if the pizza's not there yeah so, just yeah. just hearing silla's story it's really eye-opening to see the need and to Huge see need. someone you know and how much it really does benefit yeah. them. And so. she reminded me, you know, you think you don't need the blood now, but who knows, you may need it one day. Yeah. Your a family member or friend may need it one day. Yeah. And so um, Life why not give? Yeah. All right. It's a great event. We're excited to be a part of that. It's 540 now. Coming up this morning, fixing the immigration system. The bill expected for a vote next week in Washington. And President Trump is imposing tariffs on China. What the country plans to do in response.